good evening uh, kranti sharma is my voice is audible and screen is visible kindly unmute yourself Kranti Sharma kindly unmute yourself is my voice is audible and screen is visible Hi good evening all of you Good evening everyone is my voice is audible and screen is visible Yes sir thank you thank you aliza do you have any question uh, aliza you just uh... sir i have a idea problem in task 2 don't worry about it we will definitely discuss we are going to discuss the writing task 2 today may i know the person name of the person who joined from galaxy a50s <coughs> kindly rename yourself guys those who have phone ids जस्ट जिनका फोन का नाम लिखा हुआ है जस्ट रीनेम यूर आई डीज मे नो द पर्सन फ्रॉम ओपो ए थ्री सेवन एफ और पर्सन फ्रॉम गलेक्सी ए फाइव जीरो 
All right, Nikhil, thank you so much. I will rename your, okay, screen name, Nikhil. Thank you, Nikhil. And uh, what is the name of the other person who joined from Oppo Mobile? Guys, we're going to start the session very soon. Just stay connected. May you know the name of the person who joined from Oppo Mobile, Oppo A37F. I just need to rename the ID so that I can identify you. We're going to start the session very soon, guys. Just stay connected. Within two minutes, we're going to start. Let's others to join the session as well. Good evening, Ajay. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have any question? No, sir. Okay, great. So we're going to start the session just in two minutes. Just stay connected, okay? Thank you. Okay, great. All right, good evening guys. Uh, kindly confirm last time is my voice is audible, screen is visible. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. All right. First of all, welcome to Win Your English. We are the first center in India having PhD English experts in our team and our all trainer would be IDP certified. Okay. Uh, one thing I would request all of you to kindly attend this session till the end. It would take approximately 40 minutes. We will discuss okay. writing task two and its tips 
and insights. Initially, 10, 15 minutes, I will describe what things we will provide you and how our system works. After that, we will jump to the writing task too. And if yep. anyone would have any question, just unmute yourself and you can ask me any question at any point of time, but it should be relevant. Okay. okay that's Thank that's you so much. Thank you, sir. So in the meantime, um, just keep your mic on the mute phase. If you would have any question, you can just interact with me at any point of time, right? So I want this session to be very interactive. If you will have any doubt, don't wait till the end. Just ask me at the very point. So as I said, we have experts, trainer in normal centers. They're Normally they hire like five, six, seven band trainer, but we hire only highly qualified trainers. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm myself, Lovepreet Verma. I'm the founder of Vineyard English. I personally take uh, these demo sessions. And after that, my trainers take care of all the classes. So we do have IDP and BC certified trainers. We will provide you 40 plus hour of live training. That means every day there would, there would be one and a half hour class and it may extend to two hours sometime. In that class, speaking will be there on every day. One another module will be discussed in detail as well. So two module will be discussed in detail. Plus we will provide you two modules assignment. So that you're going to do in your resource account that we're going to provide you. And uh, you will be given the feedback same day. 60 plus updated recording. We have built an application in which you can review your previous sessions. For an example, if you're attending the session today, you can review it tomorrow if you, if you would enroll. So you can see your entire class, just in case if you miss any class, if you are working professional, you miss your class, you will not be in the class, but your class would be in your mobile. We will provide you a mobile app in which you can review your previous classes. So just in case if you feel like you miss anything, you can review it. Even after a month, you can review the entire month. Plus, you going to get more than 80 updated previous recordings. You can see the other recordings of other trainers as well in your application. 160 practice test. We're going to provide you one account in our system. We will provide you username and password in which you will have 160 plus practice test, reading, listening, writings. So whatever we do and we will uh, teach you in the class. Apart from that, we will provide you an account for the practice in which you can do intensive practice. I'll show you this account in upcoming slides. We will provide you two dedicated mobile apps. One, as I said, that's going in which you can uh, you, uh, see your own recordings, recorder session, second mobile app. You can explore all the 160 plus test on your mobile as well. If you don't have laptop, still you will be able to do reading, listening, writing on your phone as well. It's a mobile friendly material. 30 plus hours of assignment. So every day you're going to get the assignment five full mock test. We're going to provide you full mock test means it would, it would uh, have all the four sections and it would take approximately three hours to attempt, just like the real IELTS exam. Every Saturday we do one mock test. It's going to be a similar experience that you're going to face in the real IELTS exam. This is the practice test account, which we're going to provide you. I will show you this account. Just give me a second. All right, so this account will be you're going to get this type of account here. Our logo would be here here. Your name would be there as it says, Amandeep Kaur. Is it visible to all of you? This account? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks for the confirmation. So here you will see two sections. IELTS academic IELTS general. If you're going to register for IELTS general, still you will be able to see the entire content of academic section. You will be able to attempt academic section as well for the practice sake, vice versa. So once you log in into your account, you will see five mock tests over here. Every mock test would take approximately three hours to attempt. And we do one mock test at every Saturday and we will check your level and your progress as well every week. So once you click on academic readings, 
whether academic or journal both have different material in it journal going to have journal stuff academic going to have academic material so there would be five sections every section further going to have five readings in it 40 minutes 6 40 questions 60 minutes so the entire structure going to be same as you're going to face in the real IELTS exam so five into five you're going to have 25 readings here if you click on listening every section further going to have five listening in it 40 question 45 minutes so 25 into 5 25 listenings you're going to have here for the practice once you uh, once you would do any listening or attempt any listening it would turn into yellow and you can also check the analysis your own analysis how many bands did you get once you will attempt it you will see the band score here you will be able to see question wise answer from here one two forty so you can see each and every correct answer over here you can listen the audio of that answer so in this way you can check your own mistakes where you got wrong so this was reading writing uh, so reading listening and writing again we have five sections every section further going to have five writing writing in it two question means writing task one and two it would take 60 minutes to complete so over here you would have 50 writing tasks similarly in general you would have journal readings listening writings after that you can enhance your grammatical skills in learning tools challenge zone if you go here you can play challenges on the grammatical skills adverb adjective with those who will be online at that time so guys this is the account which we're going to provide you coming back to the presentation so this was the account which i just explained this is the application which we're going to provide you once you go to our website www.vineyardenglish.com you will see download section once you click here you can download our application from here and we will provide you license key once you would enroll with us and then you can review your own videos and previous trainers videos as well online aisle structure this is the structure of our classes after enrollment first saturday there would be a diagnostic mock test in which we will check your current level and we, our trainer will see what you want to achieve so we will prepare your journey accordingly every class would start with tips and trainings five to ten minutes then content of the class will be delivered and every class would be ended at an assignment so some may think that how we can attempt the assignment it's very easy sometime we will give you assignment in your resource account that you're going to get plus sometime we upload the assignment in your whatsapp group yes whatsapp group we're going to allot you a focused whatsapp group six to eight people will be there your trainer will be there our whatsapp groups are very focused we don't entertain any non-sincere student only sincere students would be there nobody's nobody is allowed to disturb anybody over there so let's suppose we give writing task to assignment you just uh, you you will get it in your group uh, in whatsapp group you need to write it down on your notepad just click a picture share it in the group after that our expert will check the task as per idp and bc standards and provide you feedback in the same whatsapp group so this is the journey from Mon monday till sunday from the one week till fourth week every class uh, monday there would be listening and speaking will be discussed in detail reading and listening will be assignment tuesday writing task 2 will be discussed in detail that means our trainer will not just ask you to uh, write down on a specific topic he or she will let you know how to write down creatively the introduction part the body paragraph part and the conclusion part everything will be explained in in depth and speaking will be there and this writing task 2 and reading will be given as assignment wednesday writing task one and speaking these red in red will be given in the assignment thursday reading speaking reading writing in assignment listening speaking on friday saturday we do mock test of four modules and we'll check your level 
every week. Sunday, we share blogs, study material, videos, tips, which help you to enhance your level. So this is the structure of weekly classes. If you compare our structure with uh, another institutes, you can notice that many institutes just provide one hour and one module per day. But we focus on all modules so that you can have better learning. So guys, now we're going to discuss the writing task too. And I would request all of you to stay till in the end in order to get uh, full benefit out of it in order to understand fully how we work and what is our functionality. Until this point, any question? Anita, Atul, Ajay, Eliza. Perfect. No, Kranti, Sakshi. Okay, thank you. Any questions, Sakshi, Parvinder, Kranti, Aliza, Atul, Anita? No, sir. Okay, great. Thank you. If you have any question, I can stop. So now we're going to start the writing task two. There are four pillars or fundamentals which are very essential to know in writing task two. We do intensive research on continuous basis and our all trainer attend IDP and BC seminars. We came to know some unique things which are very important for writing task two. how to get higher bands in writing task two. There are four pillars, task achievement and response, coherence, cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. All these four parts having equal band score from zero to nine and having equally equal proportionate. If you get six band in task achievement and response, seven in coherence cohesion, eight in lexical resource, seven in grammatical range and accuracy, your band score would be the average of these four. What would be the average of these four will be enumerated as your band score. Now, what is task achievement and response? Task achievement means how much percentage of the question you're going to cover, whether you're going to cover the entire question, whether you're going to answer the entire question or not. For an example, uh, if, if you're going to cover all the aspects, all the fundamentals, all the structural things or not. Structural things means as introduction alone has three parts background information or journal comment plus paraphrase the topic plus thesis statement. If you miss any of these parts, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. Coherence and cohesion implies the perfect linkage between the paragraphs as well as lines. An ideal writing task too must be linked properly from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion. Lexical resource means what type of vocabulary you're going to use, the range of vocabulary, whether you're going to use high vocabulary word or normal vocabulary words. It has been seen that students just use high vocabulary word, even they don't know the, they don't show the meaning of the word, which ultimately alter the meaning of entire passage or line and they end up with five or 5.5 bands. So we will not use the word, any word which we are not sure of. Grammatical range and accuracy means what type of sentences you're going to use, whether you're going to use simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, complex compound, compound sentence, or you're going to write down in passive voice and whether your sentence accuracy is fine or word accuracy is fine, lexical accuracy is fine. All these things will be considered deeply and we teach all, all students on these four parameters. These are the five type of essays. Any of one type would come to you in the rear IELTS exam. Opinionating essays would be there. Advantage, disadvantages. Discussion essays would be there. Solution or direct essays can be there. Every type of essay is having different kind of treatment and we teach all our students to treat, uh, to manage these kind of essays. This is the nine band essay structure. If you follow this structure, you will definitely get more than seven bands. As I said, introduction alone has three parts, background information or journal comment. 
Now, what is background information? Background information is the information which tells something about the topic or the subject in the past. For an example, in yester years, in previous years, people used to wear simple clothes, but due to the advent of modernization and globalization, masses tend to wear sophisticated clothes. Purane samay mein log simple kapde pehante the due to the advent, advent hota hai ki agman kisi cheez ka aana. Due to the advent of modernization and globalization masses. Masses is a synonym of people. We cannot use people, people again. So we use synonyms. So masses tend to wear sophisticated clothes. This is the background information. Jo humne piche se lekar ab tak kya hai describe kar diya. Now, some topic on some topic it's hard to build or make the background information in that case you you can write it down the journal comment nowadays sophisticated clothes are well in demand owing to globalization or modernization so ye ek journal comment ho gaya plus paraphrase the topic paraphrase the topic means you need to convert your convert your question into your own words into your own words. You cannot write down the exact question into the introduction. You need to paraphrase it. This is the art of paraphrasing. Some people believe that, others are against, just like this. Plus thesis statement. Thesis statement is the statement which basically indicated to the reader that what we're going to do or write down in further body paragraphs. This is basically an indicator. Just like I'm going to discuss this view in subsequent paragraphs. So with this line, the examiner or the instructor will come to know now he or she going to describe this thing. Plus this thesis statement is a great linker. It links the introduction with the body paragraphs. Now in body paragraph, what we need to do, we need to, we don't need so many points. Normally, people just add five, six, seven points in one paragraph and they end up with five or 5.5 bands. Then they complain the IDP or BC system, evaluation system that they have faulty system. No, guys, they have perfect evaluation system. We just need to understand the demand of their structure. They don't want us to write down so many points. We just need one point. Elaborate it well, support it with the example. That's it. Your one paragraph is ready. So ideally, we need two to three points for two to three paragraphs. I will show this in upcoming slides how to do that. Conclusion. The first line of conclusion is a great indicator to the reader that now he or she is going to conclude the entire essay. Some of the entire gist and rephrase your opinion, you can rephrase opinion, you can add uh, suggestion, threat, hope or danger as well. Now, writing task two should not be less than 250 words. If it would be 249 words, then you will be penalized. So ideally it should be 260 to 285 words. If you go beyond 300 words, still grammatical mistakes will be there. All right, so now guys, we're going to discuss the live problem. This is the live question. This is this question actually came in the real IELTS exam. In our classes, in our classes, we do brainstorming in every session. In some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. Do you think this is a positive or negative development? Guys, kindly don't leave the class. Just uh, this is a wonderful, uh, we're going to discuss the wonderful aspects. Just stay there. If you, you can observe, if you, don't, if you don't want to participate. So we do brainstorm activities in our every class. I'm going to demonstrate it so that you will come to know how our system works. So in our classes, we will help you out. See what happens in real exam. Many students feel that they run off ideas in writing task two. 
so we work on the psychological pattern during classes we help them to generate the content content is the key if you have the content you can get more than eight bands in writing tasks if you don't have content you you can get five or five point five bands so we help you to generate content during classes now we do a small activity those who will participate i will appreciate you i will give you feedback those who don't want to participate just stay there and observe the class now guys i would like you to tell me what are the advantages of living alone now the question says in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past jo ab alone rehne ka trend hai wo badh raha hai in some countries just like people are migrating from india to uh, just like students so they have to live alone over there so just imagine if you are living alone in canada what are the advantages of it and after that we will discuss the disadvantages all right parvinder do you have any idea what are the advantages of living alone yes uh, full freedom very good freedom will be there full freedom will be there nobody would be there no uh, no foundation no boundaries no uh, you know uh, husband wife uh, conflict parallel huh? conflicts no father mother conflicts uh, right. like that and also no like in the joint family we have so many problems hmm. so we will not able to you know justify our roles in the joint uh, family uh, culture and but uh, uh i think uh, sometimes it's it will be very much better or hmm. sometime it will be very much you know uh, uh, dis, uh disgusting because of we need in the old uh, time we need some help from the neighbors or you know from the our brother sisters or from the our hmm. uncle aunts hmm. uh, in the old age we need some kind of like uh, during the hospitalization or hmm. something like that in during the I, accidental situations mm -hmm. and during the you know uh, like uh, 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 in the year 1984 like uh, indira gandhi can't has been there so we need some kind of help in this kind of situations okay so that we can say disadvantages no family support in case of living alone yeah no family support in case of emergency yes like very hospital good. hospitalizations yeah yeah very very good point wonderful point so we'll discuss the advantages first after that we will discuss the disadvantages so first point you said freedom no interference would be there no family conflict very good point another point guys give me more views anita aliza kranti priya sakshi guys participate as much as you can don't be shy it will help you to enhance your imagination it will help you to generate content yes please and to say then uh, there would be much mental peace to enjoy because there will be nobody to interrupt you mm -hmm. no interference that we stated yeah. earlier yes. so mental peace would be there one can we can say that uh, less responsibility less expenditure very good more. less responsibilities very good point less expenses would be there so one uh, doesn't have to bear all the expenses yes and one can fulfill uh, his or her dreams easily and mm -hmm. i can say that soon also okay one can dreams uh, can be fulfilled one can pursue we can say his or her hobbies with freedom yes. right like nobody yoga swimming nobody would be there to interrupt so don't do that right so one can opt any hobby dancing singing yoga gardening right so even one can do lots of activities at home alone uh he or she can study like uh, those students who are looking for you know peaceful environment uh, they are might having problem in education i feel like that 
uh, that students are facing a lot of problem in studies like uh, some parents that are not supportive advantages now we are talking about advantages that will be yeah advantages of the students like students is having advantages mm -hmm. if they will be alone and mm -hmm. study because in graduation 3 years you mm -hmm. uh, you think like that graduation 3 years if the students stay like uh, i have heard so many things that students ran away from the house and you know they study alone with the rented mm -hmm. house and and become the you know is officer yeah so basically nobody would be there to interrupt or no less responsibilities he means to say that self study can be done easily yes self study will be enhanced because one can study with full focus so focused approach will be there right nobody would be there to uh another point guys and in disadvantages you know uh, no no we'll discuss okay yeah only the advantages first we'll uh, discuss advantages yeah, otherwise you wrote one point in disadvantage so i mm, yeah yeah we'll definitely cover that one definitely actually pravinder came up with the disadvantage point then i write it down okay. not an issue not an issue uh priya so uh, anita I, I, advantages are like we can have the full freedom holidays you know alone and go to the some uh, sky diving or something like that mm -hmm. that 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 would come into uh, the full freedom no interference section so another advantage we can say that one will learn new skills skills of life such as cleaning right buying grocery paying uh, bills managing situations rather we can say that uh, we can become independent in real sense yeah that's that's all to independent is also the same thing yeah so one will become independent uh management one, management skills will be boosted as well one will manage situations manage stress manage his or her you know budget and expenses so one will learn so many management skills as well definitely all right now just imagine yourself you are a student living alone in canada what would be the disadvantages over there so first as you said family support uh, lack of family support in case of emergency what would be the second point Yes Priya do you have a point you were saying homesick, right? very good homesickness a wonderful point while one will feel loneliness loneliness depression yes which ultimately leads to depression and he or she may fall into a uh, bad prey as well bad company or he or she may take drugs to relax his or her mind and finally uh, he or she become yeah, addicted nobody will be there, there to, to handle yes no one will be there to support to to guide actually no no one will be there to guide or to to stop from wrong doers and no celebrations no celebrations well you can do celebration if you living it could be done with the friends only not with the family you have a bond with the family right yes That's lack of family bond good point so lack of family touch or family bond bond and uh, it's in Ca in canada you are not uh, having you know uh, uh, free of uh, freedom you know you can go and you know and have a uh, you know purchase in the ne nearby locations like in india we have lot of shops in there but we have to travel alone to you know or if you are in the you know uh, bad situation nobody will go you have to go alone and you know buy some uh, medicines or something like good uh, grocery or something like that you you are not you know uh, uh, dip, you are dependent Uh, upon yourself not others okay so what is the point the point is that uh, it is you are not self reliant you have to depend upon you is that the disadvantage 
Yes. How? How? Because we have to suppose I am a sick. As mm-hmm. as she told that uh, she, uh, he or she is sick. Uh, 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 if my mother or my father is uh, uh, with me, they mm-hmm. will be go and buy, buy medicine. But in if I be alone, I have to go myself. Okay. And so in what? case of emergency, got your point. Thank you. In case of emergency, no one will be there to help. Right? Yes. Yeah. Good point. Any other disadvantage? One has to, one has to bear all the expenses alone. Rent, grocery, one has to, electricity. So in joint family, two, three working hands would be there, but yes. if one living alone, having paying all the expenses alone, one has to be all the. Yeah, sir, I just want to say that I need leave. I have some work at home. Somebody is calling me, so I need to leave. I thought of informing you first. Mm hmm. So I have to leave the meeting because somebody is calling me at home and I need to go. Okay, you, you're going to leave the session now? Yeah, that's why I'm informing so that uh, you will see that I've, I have left and you might feel bad. So okay, okay. not 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 an issue, um, uh, Priya. I will send you the recording sure, for sure. Yeah, Just I drop me. Listen to that. Thank you so much. Just drop me the message on the mobile where you got the link. And I will share okay. you the recording for sure, right? Okay, thank you. Bye. Great. Have a great evening. Bye. Take care. Okay, same here. Bye. Okay. All right, guys. Any other point? Disadvantage came into your mind? Pravinder, Arjun Veer, Anita, Aliza. And one. like uh, I have, I have already told you that uh, in the. In the in the session where the in the hospitalization, mm-hmm. uh, we have to bear alone. Uh, we have to bear all the expenses. Now, who will be taking care of the ex, uh, expenditure of, after if you are in the uh, ICU or something like that? Uh, mm-hmm. Who will be taking care of? Th- this is the biggest uh, disadvantages alone. Mm-hmm. Where uh, if we are, if, if if we can go to you know Canada and see people are dying, nobody will care about that. Uh, the person old age or something like that. Mm-hmm. They have to, you know, uh, uh, in the very bad situation, they have to, you know, uh, 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 they have to su- survive. All right. And in, in this way, there will be, no, you know, lack of uh, problem they are facing. All right. So basically, it comes under the, in case of emergency, no family member will be there, right? Nobody would be there to help. Aliza, do you have any point? The lack of moral values because he uh, they live alone. They do not have uh, understanding how to handle the um, difficult problem. Lack of moral values, you can say, yeah, lack of uh, support. Lack of moral value also comes as uh, elder would not be there. So uh, those who, the youngsters who move abroad, they might face this kind of trouble. So they forget their culture, so lack of moral value, right? All right. Good point, guys. Thank you so much. Now we're going to discuss the writing task to this topic using this method, which I just explained. Right. All right. Any question, Parvinder, Eliza, or anyone? Kisi ka koi question to nahi hai? Is everything fine? We can proceed. Yes, yes, proceed. Thank you. So as we discuss, in some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. This is a trend basically, which is given. Now examiner is asking, do you think this is a positive or a negative development? Now we have two, we have three ways. We can write positive, positive about it, or we can write negative, negative about it, or we can balance the statement. We can say, it has more positive consequences than a few negative consequences. So if you balance the statement, you will have more material to explain always. Now the solution is these days, many people choose to live alone. It says in some countries, many people are choosing to live alone. These days, many people choose to live alone, especially in metropolitan areas. And this rate is far higher in 
developed countries and seems like this has become quite normal there. So basically here what we did, we write it down the journal comment plus paraphrase the statement. We combine these two things here. Now, here as it's, it asks the question, do you think this is a positive or negative development? Now we, give, we need to give the answer in the introduction. I believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers. Let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion. This is the thesis line. So with this line, the reader will get to know what he or she is going to write down in further body paragraphs. In body paragraph one, it says the single person family. What we need to do in body paragraph, we need to write down one point, elaborate it well, cite an example. So what we write it down in the one point, the single person family, instead of living alone person, we write down single person family is seen to be positive from better personal skill development and economical perspective. Ek hi point mein humne do view de diye ki kyun behtar hai, why it is better, uh, in which perspective it's better. Ek to personal skill development achhi hoti hai, second kya hota, economical perspective se, it is good to live alone. A single member family, now we use single member family, synonym of person, forces a person to learn some basic skills, including cooking, cleaning the house, paying the utility bills, managing personal finance, purchasing daily commodities, adopting hobbies and many more important skills. This makes someone self-dependent and which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense. Now we write down this point, one point in green. We elaborated from this point till this point. Ki single person family better personal skill development or economical perspective se better kyun hai, kaise hai that we elaborated from here till here. Now we give the example. For instance, research shows that students who stay away from home for their tertiary degrees, tertiary means higher degrees, learn more skills and become more self-dependent than pupil. Pupil is the synonym of students who study from home. Additionally, a single person family member is bound to do job, business or have some sort of arrangements for a steady earning and this trend has a great positive impact on country's economy. If one person will establish properly or uh, doing a job or business or have some sort of income arrangement, he or she will pay taxes, which ultimately beneficial for the country's economy. So in this passage, we write it down very in a very simple manner. We write down one point, elaborate it well and support it with example. That's it. In the second paragraph, body paragraph from the opposite viewpoint, because we write down in the introduction, we balance the statement, we touch both points. In the first body paragraph, we write down what are the positive impacts. In the second paragraph, we touch the negative impacts. From the opposite viewpoint, point, the trend of increasing single person family has a few negative consequences as well. कि इसके कुछ नेगेटिव भी हैं एक तो होता है फ्यू एक होता है ऑफ यू ऑफ यू मींस वेरी फ्यू फ्यूज लेस देन फ्यू ए ट्रेंड ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग सिंगल पर्सन फैमिली हैज अ फ्यू नेगेटिव कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस एज वेल कैसे है क्यों है नो वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इंक्रीजिंग ट्रेंड ऑफ लिविंग अलोन हैज अ डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप ऑन द परसेंटेज ऑफ पीपल सफर फ्रॉम साइकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम दीस डेज जो अलोन रहते हैं दे सफर मोर साइकोलॉजिकल suffer from more psychological problems. Living alone creates loneliness and depression. Unlike the traditional family settings where there are always others to share someone's stress, sadness or distress. The isolation, isolation is the synonym of loneliness, often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative. So what we write it down as one point, why it has neg what it has negative impacts so we describe those impacts in from here till here 
For example, a recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because nobody would be there to stop. The human is a social being and living alone is against the natural tendency. For many, bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved into crimes. So this is the writing task two. Oh, sorry, body paragraph two. Now, in conclusion, in conclusion, we need to write down the gist or crux of the essay and we can also rephrase what we write down in the introduction. We can rephrase it to encapsulate, to sum up at the end, these type of words going to be used in the conclusion. The number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era. And this has omnifarious. Omnifarious is the synonym of various. This has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences. Hence, one can imbibe, that means get to get. One can get multifarious. Multifarious is again the synonym of omnifarious and various. So one can get various important skills of life if he or she choose to live alone. So this is the simplest structure which I just described using this structure. If you use the simplest structure, you will definitely get more than seven bands in writing task. So in our every writing task, there will be brainstorm session. What the possibilities would be there. So our trainer will ask you the points once you start generating points. So once you try to emerge into the content, once you will participate with the trainer, automatically your content generation generation power will be enhanced. So in the real IELTS exam, you will have so many points. You won't lack, you won't have a lack of ideas over there. So guys, if you guys have any question in this writing task too, I'm here to answer you. If not, then we will start with the speaking practice. Is there any question? Arjun, Anita, Aliza, Parvinder and others. No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Any question Parvinder? Uh, sir, uh... As you are having this topic, uh, we will getting a different topic. Then how will we be able to, you know, uh, see uh, the vocab uh, vocabulary or something to find out the real, you know, meaning uh, and also because uh, every, uh, you know, exams have different chapters or different, you know, topics. So how you will be justify those things as you are giving the, you know, these kinds of uh, topics that you have already, you know, work worksheet. Mm -hmm. This is already exercised and also, you know, uh, so many things has been taken out, but in the, in the long run, uh, in, in the exams, uh, what are the problems that we uh, directly face? We will not able to, you know, because a lot of students are having, you know, problem in the. Mm -hmm. See what happens. Uh, your voice is an audible Pravinder. So Pravinder, basically there are thousands of type of essays, but there are, uh, this is this structure. Basically you can fit this structure to any type of essay, but the treatment of every essay is a different, which we teach in our classes. That is our work. So once you will join the classes, you will get to know, we will prepare you on all type of essays. We will let you know how to handle what type of essay. Right. You will have all the keys. Once you will enroll, you will come to know our trainer will train you on all type of essays. They will teach you how to handle these kind of essays. Right. So vocabulary. See, you have to do simultaneous efforts. Every Saturday, Sunday, we share material last Saturday, uh, last, I mean, last Sunday, we shared 500 vocabulary words. We share all type of sentences. So we keep on sharing the stuff so that you can learn in a better way. You can enhance your skills. 
so we will provide you the quality materials but learning is your part but we will also teach you how to tackle what i mean how to tackle what do's what don'ts so you the guidance will be there for you for sure and we will help you to generate content as well it takes time actually it's not a one day game you have to do diligent efforts with the trainer in order to learn the skill of ielts see this is not only for the ielts exam we believe once you will learn these skills these will lead you till the end once you will enhance your english level it will help you throughout the life as well you will get good job in the western countries you can get better opportunities once you ha- you will have good command over english language so don't take it as like you going to do only for the ielts you need to enhance your skills so we'll help you out for sure any other question hope i answer your question parvinder yes sir yes okay thank you any question arjun veer anita aliza no question all right guys in speaking test in i'll speaking there the speaking will be from 11 to 15 minutes or 14 minutes there will be three sections first section would be the journal round in which the question of generic in nature would be asked by the trainer like describe your hometown tell me something about your hobbies or tell me something about your past studies like that after that the second round would be the cue card round in cue card round the examiner will provide you this kind of cue card like it says describe the time when you received some positive feedback when it was what the feedback was related to who gave you the feedback and explain how you felt about it so this kind of cue card will be given with the bullet points you will be given 1 minute to prepare and at least you need to speak 2 minutes on the topic so what is the technique behind it to speak in just prepare in 1 minute you just need to explain the introduction quickly in 1 to 2 line quickly you need to cover these bullet points and after that you need to conclude the topic in 1 and 1/2 minute and after that you can extend the topic you can talk 1000 words about the topic it's up to you using the connectors just like additionally moreover furthermore so what is the purpose behind it you need to cover the entire content in 1 and 1/2 minute so if the examiner will stop you after 1 and 1/2 minute still you will not lose your bands of task achievement so we work on the psychological pattern on the student we work on your imagination pattern again in speaking there will be several activities which we do on the daily basis so we help our students to prepare spider diagram we also help on the psychological pattern so i would say use the power of imagination what is the power of imagination i'll tell you if your examiner will ask you to describe your city or if examiner will ask me to describe my city as i living at ludhiana and uh, or if i live in a village there might be a few things to describe about the village but i can use the power of imagination i can describe michigan toronto melbourne and just name my village for an example if i say i live at ludhiana and it is situated in the mid of hills we have a wonderful lake on the southern side where people love to visit every day we have multifarious shopping plazas where people from the globe visit our city and buy stuff we have world's oldest church in our city we have world's prominent universities in our city it has a perfect infrastructure just like that so whether things prevail over there or not we can add those things to make the conversation more interesting and relevant examiner is not going to check whether these facts are there or not he or she is going to check whether you are going to target the question whether he or she is going to check your fluency fluency your sentence structure whether you going to make the conversation relevant and interesting or not so this is going to be checked 
the more you will use the imagination in your topic, the more bands you will get. Is it clear to all of you? Parvinder, Anita, Aliza, Arjun Veer. Yes, sir. It is clear. Yes, sir. Thank you. And what about Arjun Veer? All right. So now we will do a small activity. Those who will participate, I will appreciate and provide you a valued feedback, which will definitely help you out. Those who don't want to participate because it's your first time, you can observe the class. Okay. I, I will give you one minute to prepare about this topic. Is it fine, guys? Would you like to attempt it or not? Aliza, Parvinder, Anita. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. I will give you one minute. Just prepare. Jesse, we are bowl sakte and just, uh, you know, speak up after the minute. And I will give you a valued feedback as per IDP and BC standards and which will definitely help you to improve. Describe the time when you received some positive feedback. Positive feedback kisse mili aapko, kab mili, when it was kab mili, last year, last month, yesterday, what the feedback was related to, kiske related to work, me aapko feedback mili, ghar pe mili, education me mili, who gave you the feedback? Kisne di? Parents ne di, friends ne di, principal ne di, colleague ne di, and explain how you felt about it. Felt about means aapko past ka poocha gaya, then you need to explain it in the past only. Now I'll give you one minute. Time starts now. All right, who will start? Me, sir. Yes, please. Uh, actually, uh, I got the opportunity to, you know, write uh, uh, one, uh, one topic which is related to uh, post-graduation. And uh, uh, I was thinking about this uh, uh, post-graduation, what to write. Uh, I got a question that uh, I have to write upon the post graduation uh, and what are the three important points that we have to uh, I have to go for for the writing and uh, we I have to write a three points main, main main three points where I have to write and also uh, I have to describe about the why uh, the post graduation is important so I wrote in this way in the modern world, the post graduation is obviously very important because it's for the various reasons. Post graduation is degree helps students to strengthen their curriculum weight and also help to stand out the, from the other students, those who have done their graduation. This uh, modern uh, degree post graduation into, uh, into higher level as compared to the PH degree or post graduation. It will help students to gain their industry knowledge, job market, industry knowledge, and also upgrade their skills and knowledge. Most of the things help students to, to expert in the particular domain. And if he or she choose the specialized field in the like, uh, like digital marketing, or cloud competing or uh, uh, software development, these kinds of specialization now it, we need to you know, implement. In the modern era, we have to rule out the whole industry and get our the I mean, best of the, we can able to gain the knowledge and experience. These uh, career ladder has been very 
value propositions into the job market and which is market in demand thank you so much all right uh, good try uh, parvinder but uh, you went out of the topic actually the demand of the topic was when you received some positive feedback right so when it was uh you describe what the feedback was related to but who gave you the feedback when it was and explain how you felt about it so basically here you need to describe a feedback you got from others like in the past you can say like, uh, like this topic has been i have uh, given to my sir and he has appreciated me in a very good manner and uh, you know he has i i got the reply that it's amazing topic you have uh, uh, wrote and uh, we will give you you know kudos to the you, you what you have written over there so i have received a, you know a very big amaze uh, you know kudos that I, the sir you, has you felt amazing you. right yes, yes yes great so good good attempt as i said uh, parvinder but there is lot to improve and we will help you out to how to improve it right so basically you need to cover entire pass entire task into one and half minute so in that we cannot describe the entire story so for an example describe a time when you receive some positive feedback you can attempt like this well there are there are lots of incidents when i got the positive feedback but here i would like to talk about when i got my when i attempted my graduation exams and it was in the last year in the november and it was so tough exam the economics exam but i did so well i prepared so well but once i delivered it and i got the first prize in my entire college and uh, i topped the uh, college in respect to the economics and uh, all my tutors and the principal provide me a positive feedback that how i excelled in economics and it was a moment when i feel so elated so happy to know about this feedback and this Delight, was delightful yes it was so delighted to me so like this so we have to cover the topic when it was exact time bata dena hai kiske related thi kisne di kaisa feel hua uh, ye cheeze hain uh first of all i want to describe the whole topic then uh, at the end of the point i have mentioned that the sir has given me the feedback uh, see we cannot say the sir has given you can say my principal or my tutor my professor right okay. my professor gave me right okay. professor gave me so we have to describe the entire event in the past if it's going to ask the past event do you need to describe it in the past otherwise good try it's your first attempt we will definitely help you to speak in a better way we will refine your english pravinder um, any okay who's next eliza uh, your your name is eliza uh, yes may know your exact name please eliza eliza okay eliza please well i am extrovert person so i love to get lots of positive feedback from others here i would like to talk about a time when i get some positive feedback i vividly remember when i was in college i was studying in graduation in shri guru teg bahadur college and i took participating in youth festival functions initially i didn't have any knowledge about how to a uh, flute and after uh, getting after got the instruction from my music teacher i was able to uh, i was able to uh, perform a running playing the flute uh, in front of other one of the important thing for me uh, i have uh, i have a lot of fear to uh, i have a lot of public fear so i uh, i was not comfortable to a uh, play in front of other but after uh, get, getting support of my teachers and my uh, friends i did it in my final uh, days and uh, i was very uh, uh, i i was it was a gala day of my life and uh, it elated me uh, very much because my principals and my friends appreciate me uh, that i did well in the, and i uh, i uh, uh, i was very excited 
because there were uh, many there were many other uh, partic participants who to, who get who got participant in the performance but i was surprised when i came to know that we we uh, are uh, we are first in the uh, in our uh, performance so uh, it was a good day for me and i never forget the day of my life that day of my life good attempt uh, lisa very good attempt you cover all the bullet points little sentence uh, sentence mistakes were there right okay. but uh, that's fine it's your first time we'll definitely uh, you know refine it in the classes as well otherwise you cover okay. all the bullet points very good all right thank you sir welcome anita anita would you like to attempt or arjun veer no all right all right thank you so much guys uh, this is uh, basically the end of the session and if you have any question i'm here to answer you all the questions if you would like to join our classes new batches are going to start academic as well as journal very soon in a day or two you can join our classes and you can learn in a better way from the experts so we have only experts in our team we don't hire people like trainers like five six bands these things we will provide you as i explained earlier if you have any doubt let me know parvinder liza anita arjun veer any doubt no sir all right all right aliza parvinder those who wish to join just drop me the okay. message on the whatsapp i will schedule your classes okay okay so, thank you what is the charges sir we will discuss just drop me the message on the whatsapp i'll get back to you okay thank you so much have a great evening thank you, sir. take care thanks for sparing your time same to you sir thank you